Now, this is a little something unusual. I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and I'm talking with photographer, not writer, but almost writer, <laughs> photographer Alex Kearns, who has produced this wonderful book, book called Zen Dogs. Now, I'm actually in Alex's studio, so bear with me, because I'm just going to show you around. Let's have a look at this. Such a lovely space. Now, for those of you that know me, it's Cheryl Arkell from Better Reading, and you know I love puppy dogs. I've got George and John Brown, and I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and I'm talking with photographer Alex Kearns. She's going to talk to me about how this book actually came about. Well, actually, the, your whole story is a life change, isn't it? Anyway, we'll start from the beginning, but if you would like to ask Alex any questions about photography or about her book, we're taking questions and comments. Now, Alex, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm really well. I'm very excited to be here. I am a dog lover through and through. As I said, I've got George, who's now 13, and John Brown. Um, now, you were a policeman once in a previous life, and probably not that long ago. So, policewoman, turns photographer, yep. photographer turns author uh -huh. or photo a, a published book. Yeah. Tell us how all of this came about. Oh, it's, it sounds crazy when you put it like that. And I guess if you told me 10 years ago this would be what I was doing now, I never would have believed it. But yeah, basically I joined the police force when I was 19 and yes. I spent 14 years as a police officer working in Western Australia. Then I left that job and spent five years auditing airports for their counter-terrorist security measures, also across WA. Yeah. And during that time, so about 10 years ago, bought my first digital camera. And I'd never really had much of an interest in photography until then, but thought, oh, I guess it's easy, you could just photograph everything, it would be you know, quite simple, just point the camera and take the picture. And I realised fairly quickly that it wasn't that easy to photograph everything. There was one thing in particular that I liked more than everything else, and luckily for me, I guess that turned out to be animals. And if I was photographing friends at the park and a bird flew by or a duck waddled in, I'd have more photos of birds and ducks at the end of the day. So I really started listening to that and just thought, okay, well, uh, I love animals. I'm getting the best results. I'm not that great at everything else. So I'm going to stick to my lane and what became the natural focus of my lens. And then before too long, I um, started sharing that with other people. And so you did a course. Um, in digital photography and started photographing what you love. Now, do you have dogs yourself? I do. I have two dogs, two rescue dogs, Pip and Pixel. Yeah. One's a greyhound and one's a greyhound Kelpie Cross. Cool. And uh, interestingly, they're both um, black dogs with a bit of white on them. And a lot of people have trouble photographing black dogs. So quite often I get asked, how do you do that? And I might as well give away the secret. It's just the lighting. <laughs> if you light them <laughs> right, you can, you can get all that beautiful detail. We all think we're, in the, day, in the days of digital age, we all think we're photographers, don't we? I mean, you know, we're all taking photos and putting them on Instagram, but there really is, like everything else, like being a writer, like being a photographer, there is a craft to it. And what is it about photography that you love? I love being able to um, use that device and show people how I see animals. Uh, I see them as colourful and vibrant and happy and joyful. So being able to share that through a photograph to me is something very powerful. And I use a lot of the photographs that I take to then endorse, promote and support animal rescue organisations all around the world. So that's probably the second part of what I do after showing people how beautiful they are. I'm going to come back to that. So firstly, tell me, how did you get, and I'm going to pan across, um, we're talking with a Alex Kern, so we're actually in her studio right here in Perth, Western Australia. I'm just going to pan across and show you some more photos um, of her wonderful book and her actual business of photographing animals. Well, if you want your, photograph, your animal photograph, she's actually booked out for some time, <laughs> so email her. But it's just such a great story, and that's why I'm here talking to you. It's an unusual book for us to actually profile on Better Reading, but as I said, I'm a dog lover, and I thought there's nothing nicer than meeting and chatting with a dog lover, another fellow dog Thank lover. Um, so you started doing what you love. You left the force, and you're, you were taking photographs. And then how on earth did a book, book deal come your way? How did that happen? Well, I realised probably about three or four years ago, I, I took a picture, actually here it is, of Susie the Sharpe. Oh, isn't she With lovely. her eyes shut and she looks super happy in a, a big state of bliss. And at first I thought, you know, eyes are the windows to the soul. How are her owners going to respond to this photograph? Oh, well, only one way to find out. So I put this in amongst their selection of images to choose from and they loved it. 
because although you couldn't see her eyes, it's still, so beautiful. Yeah, there's a, an emotion there as well, which they really connected to. Yeah. So I thought, wow, this is uh, something different, you know. Um, as long as they're looking happy and relaxed and throwing their head back, they're literally a split second blink. So it's catching a split second blink, and I then started collecting the images in a little folder. And mid last year, probably about July last year, I thought, I'm pop these online on my Facebook page, and I just put them on a website, see how they went, and they went viral literally overnight. Uh, hundreds of different news sites and websites contacted me wanting to run the Zen Dogs photographs. And one evening I was out for dinner and it was about 10.30 Perth time, my phone rang and it was the Huffington Post from New York, which just... The Huffington yeah, Post, I yeah. It, I was just rings uh, Alex yep. from <laughs> Perth, yeah, who's living in Perth, Western yeah. Australia, anonymously, yep. uh, and then gets a, a, a phone call from the Huffington Post. Wow. It. And it, was this lovely, <laughs> well, yeah, it came up on my phone, New York City, so I was quite excited. And uh, yeah. this lovely journalist said to me, they run the health and wellbeing section of the Huff Post, could they share the photographs? So, of course, I said yes, did an interview. And 24 hours later, a lovely editor from Harper One in New York City had emailed me saying, I love these photographs. Would you like to discuss doing a book? So that was the easy part. I mean, it was an, an absolutely beautiful gift to be given. Then though, every morning for about nine weeks, uh, every weekday, I got up at three o'clock in the morning to write to New York City in real time. Yes. 3 p.m. there. And try and, you know, obviously get the book across the line between the two of us with the editor. So um, I felt like I did earn it in the end. but. It's such a beautiful book and what I love about it, being a dog lover, is that it's happy, relaxed dogs, which is exactly how dogs make us feel. Yeah. So it's like looking into a, a feelings mirror, I guess, of, of dogs. Happy, happy, relaxed dogs. Now yeah. we've got um, Amy, she said her dash hound and Dudley, they're watching right this very oh. minute um, and she's asking where can she find this book. Is it released? Uh, it's coming out in Australia on the 24th of October, so not very long to wait. Okay, yep. so it'll be in bookstores, uh, Amy, on the 24th of October. Um, so Marilyn says, love your photos, Alex. Thank you, Marilyn. Melissa says, zen. Yes, it's exactly zen. <laughs> yep. So for those of you that are watching, if you've got any questions and comments, send them, send them through. It's Cheryl Arkell from Better Reading, and I'm ch chatting with Alex Kearns about her wonderful uh, picture book uh, called Zen Dogs. It's not really a picture book. That's um, a children's classification. It's more, a, <laughs> it's more a coffee table, beautiful, relaxing, gorgeous book, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so where to from here now, Alex? What is it that you, you referred earlier that you're doing some philanthropic work? Mm -hmm. What do you do there? I basically donate probably 40% of my time and uh, if it was something that a client would pay for, it adds up to about half a million dollars a year in value of photographic services, images, sponsorship and gift vouchers to about 50 different global animal charity organisations. So that includes dog rescue um, centres, both locally in Australia and overseas. We've worked with the Bali Animal Welfare Association before. And I basically go over there, take photographs, and then use those images to raise funds and awareness for whichever charity I'm working for. Um, to me, having a talent and access to animals and being able to share that with people, I always feel like there's an element of that. I should give back to those very subjects themselves. So it's just an intrinsic part of my nature to want to help. and. My beautiful clients support my business day to day, and then I use yeah. the, the money. Great invest. story. Oh, thank you. I'd That's really great. like to meet a person that um, practices what they preach, so to speak. Thank now, you. show me some little some spreads out oh, of the book. For sure. So um, we've got Kelly Patterson here. She says, "Lovely to meet you, Alex." <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you too. Um, if you've got any comments or questions for Alex, please send them through now. We're in Perth, Western Australia. We're talking to Alex Kearns about her book, Zen Dogs. I'm going to show you a little surprise. Oh, show me something. I don't want to They're ruin so it. They're so cute. But if you, when you get the book, have a quick peek. <gasps> oh wow! Well, do picture. that again. Do that flip again. It's going to be quick. I don't want to ruin it for everyone. Um, there's so many little things in this book that when you finish it, you just feel like it's it's complete, if that makes sense. So And it makes you happy. It does. It's happy dogs. Their names and breeds are listed. Um, quite a few of them are rescue as well, which I love. There's beautiful quotes in there from people like Gandhi and Buddha to make you feel nice and chilled. And one of my favourite things is at the very back is a little appendices of all the oh, dogs wow. with their eyes open. It's not lovely. So you can flick through and, you know, if you're wondering... Actually, for the lovely lady that had the dashing, there's a dashing in there. Um, you can flick through and just basically look at them with their eyes open. This is one of my dogs. Ah, uh, there you go. Um, they made it into the book. Pixel's in there too. 
but yeah. See, you've got some insight. It's just beautiful. I love it, it is really beautiful. Well, congratulations. What can I say? You have produced the most beautiful book. Thank um, you. You're a wonderful photographer. Continue the great work. I love to hear stories where people have changed their career and found success doing something else, and success and happiness. And you're not just making yourself happy, you're making a whole lot of other people happy. Thanks so much, Alex. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I'd really like to thank, um, firstly, my publisher, Harper One, Harper Collins, and your good self for coming all this way and talking about something else. It's an absolute pleasure. I've got the best job in the world. <laughs> sure? Now, just before I leave, I'll just do another pan of the studio so people can see all these lovely photographs that Alex has taken. There you go. And then back onto the book. And it's available in bookstores on the 24th of October.